Hey everyone, no selfie stick, so things are gonna be a little shaky now, a little close up, a little personal, but this could be my very most important, most important YouTube video yet. Y'all gonna wanna stick around and learn till the end. Today we're talking about LED and artificial lighting. We're gonna be comparing two different specimens today, under the light and not under the light. Both set of specimens have been growing for the exact same amount of time, same fertilizer, same system. Only one has been introduced to the light this whole time and one hasn't. Wait till you see the results. Thanks to our special lights, we are able to grow Swiss chard in the dead of winter. As you can see, I'm having excellent results from the plants that are under the lights. You can see it is doing exactly what I want it to do. It's growing to the size I want it to grow. These are the ones that have been under the light since they came from the germination station G2 into the NFT system. Now, these here Swiss chard have not been in under the lights. They were planted the exact same time as the other Swiss chard. And you get a real good reasoning or a real good picture as to why we use artificial lighting in the winter because the daylight interval is not enough to supply these plants with adequate lighting to stimulate healthy growth. Therefore, when we hit eight hours in the winter, we crank on these. These are the best LED lights you can get for growing lettuce in Canada. We've got operators using these LED lights and getting 700% increase in weight that means your profit's gonna go up, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about here in the winter. You can't grow produce in the winter without it being big and heavy enough. You've got to be able to make money. You've got to meet margins. Yes, you can grow lettuce in the winter without artificial, artificial lighting. No, it will not be profitable enough. These are what our two troughs look like. Obviously, the one on the right has been grown with artificial lighting. The one on the left has not. The next species or crop to discuss is lettuce. In this case, particularly romaine lettuce. This here romaine has been growing in the system for approximately three weeks. Uh, not in the NFT system, its lifespan has been about three weeks, sorry. And these are the ones that I have under the artificial grow lights. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we'll move on to the same batch of romaine but they are not grown under the artificial lights for the purpose of this video it's truly reflected in the size of the plant that they do exceptionally better under the artificial lighting I will put them over by the Swiss charge so we can compare them once more it's hard to believe the difference ladies and gentlemen Plants on the right have been grown with artificial lighting. Plants on the left have not seen any artificial lighting. In a nutshell, artificial lighting is crucial to have a profitable greenhouse and operate during the winter. I don't suggest anybody anywhere in Canada try and operate a hydroponic greenhouse during the winter without artificial lighting. I do recommend you reach out to Dave Murdoch LED laser lighting solutions. Not only will he supply you with lights, but he'll continue to give you support that you need from growers such as myself, uh, his microbiologist, his chemist, his team. We're putting together a, a team of growers and trying to solve any problems you guys have. So reach out to Dave Murdoch for your lights or you can contact me personally. I'll get you his information and we'll get you the lights you need for the system that you have. By the way, special shout out to Dale Moore, Barefoot Farms. If you're in the Manitoba area and in his area, I suggest you guys look him up on his website. I'm going to attach the link to the description in the video and buy his produce because it's just as good as mine. And it's up there in Manitoba. Big shout out to you, Dale, buddy. Now that I'm finished cleaning troughs, as you can hear by the sound of it, I got that uh, loud, annoying pump on there, pumping in my fertilizer and feeding these beautiful plants and of course uh, work is never done um, right now after I'm done uh, the greenhouse work 
I get my chainsaw fixed up. It's never a good thing that you can't get adequate oil out of your chainsaw when your chainsaw is the livelihood of your greenhouse because you operate a greenhouse in the winter on a wood stove or wood furnace. This is Big Bertha. I'll tell you what, she's been around. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, plants! Yep, the only people I need to spend my time with on New Year's. Happy New Year, plants!